Hello and welcome back to the Spider's Web. Um, this time we've got on with sorting these out with the bases and uh, whatnot. There we go. Right, so let's get these done and then we can carry on with painting the um, Spawn, uh, is it Spawn? I can't remember what the heck it's called now. Oh dear good. Brain switched off completely. So, let's just move that over there. Swarm, not Spawn, Swarm. <laughs> oh, I knew I'd get that one wrong. Yes, so it was the uh, the plague swarm. Right, so what we're doing here is just painting our dog bases black. Um, and we'll do this over all of the base, not just the top. We'll do the sides as well. You've probably seen me do this on other of the bases. Um, I really do need, I am fully aware, some more black paint. Um, but I should have enough to cover what I need to cover in this video. Um, and st uh, I hope you like the uh, video I did for my uh, Star Trek and Star Wars gaming table. I really enjoyed doing that. As I said on the video, it's it's the first time I've ever done anything like that. Well. A painting technique like that, let's put it that way. I've never done anything like that and I was really surprised at how easy the effect was to to get. I know it, it'll probably take time to master that effect, as it were, to get it, you know, like so you can do stuff automatically rather than having to think about what you're doing all the time, but um, I enjoyed doing that table. I really did. I know I didn't do much to it. Um, but actually, it was my brother who changed the um, the hinges round for me. Um, because with the way, the unique way in which my body tends to screw me up, I can do some things and can't do others. And. Uh, Unfortunately, by taking the hinges off one board because I damaged it, that's actually the second table I got. I, um, as I was carrying it out to the door, sorry, as I was carrying it out to the door, as I was carrying it out to the car, you know, to take it up to my dad's, because I'd actually changed the hinges round on this particular table, and I'd taken it as I'd taken it out of the car to take me dad's to get my brother to look at it because I couldn't get the hinges right because it was flat it was well as I opened it up it wasn't lying flat and um, there was a step in it so I thought well my brother's a train joiner sorry my brother's a um my brother is a joiner he's uh he'd be able to do it Carrying it out of the car, I dropped it, hit one of the hinges, and bent the hinge. Because they're not incredibly strong hinges on pasting tables. So I went to my local DIY store um, and had a look for another pair of hinges. Nope, not at all. And the hinges they did have, it was actually ch just as cheap to buy a new table. So that's what I did. I bought a new table. Um, but I did actually try taking the hinges off again, the old table. And um, unfortunately, I got, I got the hinges off. But, unfortunately, because I'd got the hinges off, I couldn't actually use my hand then for the rest of the day. 
because it was that painful. It's like a very extreme form of writer's cramp. Um, and the pain is unbelievable. It doesn't actually come down. We're taking painkillers when you've done something like that. So it's all it comes I've tried to do um like repetitive things like gripping and turning a screwdriver and stupid me forgot to um, charge my drill up so I could use that as the screwdriver so I had to do it by hand um, so I thought I'll sod it anyway back to the story I'd, uh, I'd gone to the uh, local DIY store if they didn't have any of the hinges, the hinges that they had judging by the price of them I thought well it's going to be just as cheap if not cheaper to buy a new table so that's what I did I bought a new table I took it up there to my dad's my brother changed it round he had a little bit of a trouble he had a little bit of trouble uh, getting a flat table once it was opened up but he managed to get it sorted for me so I'm glad it wasn't just me <laughs> but uh, yeah the table was sorted and got painted yesterday and as I said I really enjoyed painting it but now I just need to get hold of some white paint and that's sort of begrudge paying out for a tin of the spray that I was using so I think I might just use the Citadel undercoat primer thingy skull white one I know it's acrylic and I have been using um, enamel but I don't suppose it will make much difference if I'm just doing st uh, stars if anybody's got an experience at <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me if anybody's got an experience at um, doing these as to whether or not I'll be able to get away with using enamel sorry using um, acrylic undercoats instead of um, oh dear what was I going to say undercoat enamel instead, oh yeah instead of using the um, enamel spray then please let me know um, it's just for doing stars so it's just going to get splattered on it's not actually going for any detail I mean. there we are I've no kitchen tissue kitchen towel whatever you want to call it so dry my brush on so yeah so as I was saying if anybody's got any uh, experience with using these sprays as to whether or not I'd be able to use um, the acrylic based white from uh, Citadel on it instead of just using what sort of looking for instead of having to go out and buy uh, a new enamel one because I don't want to spend a fortune if I'm just doing a few spots here and there I suppose I'm thinking it should be okay but you never know you never know right let's get back to this little devil shall we this plague swarm right so what we did in the last video as I recall we painted the bottom of the millipedes centipedes the faces and the arms and hands of the rats a red colour we did the eyes in red as well um, we painted <coughs> the slugs here in a pale brown and went, then went over with Agrax Earth shade. I've since gone over with Drakenhof Nightshade to make it a lot darker still so the idea now is to highlight that uh, we also dry brushed over the rats with grey and we did the dry brushing over the carapace of the millipedes and whatnot in the yellow and the green I think I am going to be using <coughs> a wash on those but first of all I want to do the highlights in the red areas um, now I know there is one, one part where I have missed and I'm going to remedy that now it's this rat at the front I 
Um, I've not painted his face properly and I think that should be that bit sticking out there should be his ear that's better so that is the rat there right so what we're going to be doing now is the pink areas and so we need red and we also need white um, I forgot we'd actually wash this so It's a nice medium pink colour that we can use to dry brush over and we'll make a pale pink colour beside it as a highlight but first I'm going to commit doggy side if he doesn't stop wriggling behind me <laughs> oh but he always picks just the right time to start having a wriggle <laughs> Eh, hey, well, I've had him at the canal today and he's been having a swim, so he's, uh, hopefully he's going to give me a bit of a break today, though. I've had another lovely day, weather-wise. Um, so, um, I took the opportunity to get him out while I could, and, uh, let him have a good swim in the canal. He does like a good swim. Which is more than I can say for myself because I'm uh, hydrophobic. But not to worry. There we go. So let's pick out details on the rats, um, just the highlighted areas, um, just highlight, just the raised areas. That part I know we haven't gone over with a wash, but we will be doing in a bit so it will darken down quite a bit more and we'll be going round with um, a brownish colour for teeth and whatnot that we can see I think we shall be mostly adding some pink to the underside of here just because it's seen and we want that pink to be the actual colour what we're looking at rather than a highlight there we are and <coughs> I'll just wash that for a second before I go into the pale pink and almost white area and just do a couple of lines with pale pink down there down there on, the, on this rat here Um, rat's nose and arms 
or hands. This side I think could do with a going over as well as that side. I don't think you're going to see a great deal of it. It's under the millipede here. I've actually started calling them millipedes or centipedes rather than caterpillars because I know full well they aren't caterpillars but I kept making the mistake of calling them caterpillars because that's the kind of dozy so and so I am. Okay so that's the pinky stuff done and as I said we want to highlight the slugs and the highlight colour for the slugs is the talon sand and it's just a bit of a whop over with this we're not going overboard uh, so with what detail is in this model you can't really go overboard it's just do what you can where you can there we are that will do fine and now we'll go over the pink areas with the when I can find it uh, we'll get there eventually where have you gone got it Gucci eye violets and we'll go over the carapaces on the green areas with the null oil as usual so we'll do that one first because that's the bit that's along the top um, and we're basically wanting to tie this in so people looking and watching us watching us play will know that these are part of the plague faction and not something that's suddenly appeared out of nowhere so we t try and tie all the colours in together um, you can go over the rat's fur with this as well it's not gonna do any harm might actually improve the colour by getting into the um, recesses how we're supposed to and bring out a lot more of the shadow so it makes the highlights stand out that much better I'm saying it might do that's what it's supposed to do <laughs> so uh, if it doesn't do it then there's a problem with the wash but there we are and finally the begin we'll get this one sorted out um, as I said once this one dries we'll go over the pinky areas with the um, Druichia violet or Druichia violet rather um, hopefully it shouldn't take long because it is actually quite warm in here so fingers crossed and we've had gone over all the the rats we don't need to do anything more to the rats I don't think it's just the the legs and faces of them with the wash that's all um, we won't need to highlight anymore I don't think we're going to be highlighting anything else on this just that and that's what's been done so let's have a closer look there we go, we can see what everything is now and it does look an absolute mass of writhing bodies rats, millipedes, slugs, mice you wouldn't want to meet that on a dark night, would you? <laughs> uh, I've just noticed a foreign body on there, let's see if I can see it again now that I've moved there we are it's a hurt off a brush I 
that happens. If you can do it, get it off um, before it actually dries because sometimes it can stick depending on what paint you've been putting on. But in this case, it didn't, it came off quite easily once I managed to grab hold of it. <laughs> okay, so there you go, that's our swarm. The next job, as I said, all it is is um, drew chow violet on the pink areas basing it up exactly the same as those that we've just done um, so while they are dry let's uh, let's do them shall we um, we want the greys don't we we want only two shades of grey dawnstone and administratum dawnstone the slightly darker one is the one we're going to be using first going to be doing our little pet doggies first and it's just dry brushing over all all of the base well, let's make sure it's dried first before you start doing this um, it doesn't look right it may, in fact it looks a complete mess if it's not dry if the first coat's not dry before you start dry brushing Is that one and I just remember I still have to do the toenails and claws or toenails and uh, fingernails of the uh, the big crouchy mutants here any similarity to uh, football players alive or dead is purely coincidental it's a big crouchy thing. Oh, never mind, it's the only bloomy football I can remember the name of. Him and his stupid robotic dancey thing. <laughs> I'm not a football fan. I think that's possibly why I've held off from getting Dreadball. Because <laughs> I'm not. Mind you, that's more that American football, isn't it? Not proper football. I know that, but. It's based more on American football or rugby. Right, so that's the bases with the first highlight colour done. I'm going to use a towel and sand while I've got it out just to do fingernails, teeth and what not on your man here seeing what things I can find um, okay so it's just at the tip of the fingers there is not much here you can actually see unfortunately but whether we can see it or not we do it that way we know it's been done and if we know it's been done we can hold our head up high and say yes done it all as we should have <laughs> no cutting corners There we are. It's simple really. I will do just a little bit there as well. Just to break up that area. Okay, so that's that bit done and now we can concentrate more on the base and this time it's the administratum grey which we're going to be using to go over and make the grey just a little bit lighter not much more and don't go all over the base on the, with this this one it's just around the edges where the light is going to hit anything that's going to be underneath the model you don't need to do 
and uh, so when this is dried anyway we're going to be going over with a wash of null oil so if it looks a little bit bright at the moment don't worry about that because it's going to get knocked down with a black wash so there won't be areas like that where I've had a, such too much um, paint on the brush but as I say it's going to get knocked down there we are so that won't take long to dry because it's only acrylic and uh, it's only a very oops, it's only a very light coat it's, well, it's not in fact a coat it's just a, a tickle <laughs> There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, now the... You don't necessarily have to use Null Nile for this. You can use any dark coloured wash. Um, I'm used, just using Null Nile because, well, with it being a black base, um, trying to make it look more industrial, um, concreted look rather than um, well not concrete but I know what I mean I don't want to make it look as though it's uh, like mud or something like that I want, I want it to look more industrial which is why I've done black and grey so that's why I've uh, that's why I've chosen to use the null nail wash rather than any other colour but you could, I suppose, use me well, not as not as opposed. You could use the um, oh, Drakenhof nightshade. That's a nice bluey grey um, wash. In fact, it might actually work better than the uh, than the black because I do that. I do actually like that colour. But. Oh, I started doing blacks and no oil because I forgot about the tracking off nightshade. I thought I'd run out. Um, but no, I hadn't. So there we go. There's the bases finished. Um, let's have a quick look at our swarm. No, that's still. Mind you, this, the areas that are still look wet on the swarm actually don't look anything or anywhere near where I want to paint um, well not paint but wash because they all seem to be the putting those crevices the there's nothing seems to be round where the red and pinky parts are in fact so I've, I should have done a bit of pink down there but I haven't never mind so let's do each of our again and Okay, this just knocks down the very stark pink and adds that little bit more shadow to it. Um. doing on the rats as well I might as well and once that's done I can do this I can go in there then and do teeth and uh, we'll, if we can see any little claws I'll do those as well in the uh, oh dear god talon sand but there we go There's the swarm almost complete. I say it's just the rat's teeth now that needs doing, and once that's done, basing and the base painting up as well. So there we are for another video. We have three models finished, one almost there, um, and the next one. What have we got to do? Uh, 
Right, I'll give you the choice this time, what you'd like to see. The choice is... This fella, I'm assuming that's how it goes on to here because well, it, there's no instructions to it. We've got that one. And because these are the small ones, I'm going to confirm the other one. We've got these two great stage one mutants. It's up to you. Which ones do you prefer? Do you want A? Or B. Or should that be stage one or stage two? The choice is yours. Which one do you want to see next? Okay. <laughs> until I look forward to hearing what you uh, what you decide. And until next time, as always, take care. God bless, and bye for now.